My name is Jeff Hugel. Uh, I'm an Australian swimmer, um, Olympic silver and bronze medal, eight world records. Uh, I started swimming at the age of three and, uh, and, and doing racing like club nights and stuff at the age of four and five. At the age of five, I remember watching um, the Olympic Games in LA and I, I remember watching John, John Seaman on TV win gold in the 200, mutter, uh, 200 meters butterfly. And I guess my, my belief or the passion inside me came from that point is, is realising that one day I wanted to swim for Australia and represent my country in the Olympic Games and, um, and, and that's where the passion began. Well, if I, I had a, a, growing up in a small country town, uh, you can only get so far because you become a, a big fish in a small pond. And um, so for me, I had to move away from the country and, and move down to the city. So I, I moved uh, down to Brisbane. For me, in terms of my support, uh, I, I moved in with my swimming coach and lived with him and his family. Um, you know, I always used to look at it and, and think that I was a bit of a black sheep because of the scenario that I was in or, or because, you know, because I, I wish that I had a family that would be able to, to be there like all of the other kids and their families in the swimming club. Um, I had a, a great mentor or a father figure who was, turned out to be my swimming coach. Um, and, and, and the support I had, not only from him, but everyone else in the squad was, um, was one of the main reasons that, uh, that I'm here today. I mean, my mindset from 2002 to about 2004 was totally different to that mindset I had when I was growing up as a teenager and wanting to represent my country. So when 2004 came around, um, it's not that I didn't want to go on to, to Beijing in 2008, it was more the fact that I wasn't willing to put life on hold again for another four years. So um, I, what I decided to do was obviously walk away from the sport. When I walked away from the sport, I, I walked away from everything that the sport offered. Doing 10 pool sessions a week and having a, a strict routine and strict diet to all of a sudden just walking away and, and having uh, none of that around me. So naturally, uh, in, instead of going to the pool at 4am, I was hell-bent on staying up until 4am. Instead of uh, eating you know, healthy diets and really taking care of my body, uh, was the fuel that I was putting into it were more like your beers and your takeaway foods and your alcohol. And you know, For me, I, I put on about 50 kilograms in about two or three years, so well, I was extremely depressed about the situation I put myself in. You know, I, I guess I was abusing myself from an alcoholic state as well, or, or from an alcohol state, purely from the fact that, uh, because I, I felt that it helped numb the pain, so to speak. Yeah. You, know, you, you know when you hit rock bottom, and um, it's, it's a pretty hard thump when, when the reality sort of sets in. There were a number of different turning points. One, one obviously I was sick and tired of letting myself down all the time, and letting those around me down. Um, you know, I, I knew that one of the best ways that I could start taking care of myself was physically and, and um, making sure that I was eating the right things. But I think the most important thing is you have to have consistency. Uh, you know, when you put a plan into action, you, ha you have to have consistency. It's, and it's a uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week approach. It's, it's not just about, uh, you know, hoping for something to just all of a sudden just smack you in the face. And, you know, like a, a lot of the things I do are very positive things in life. Um, and, and a lot of the people that I associate with are positive people. If the, you're willing to put a, a plan and a goal in place, that, that these are the people that will support you to get that job done. Um, they're not the type of people that will tell you why you can't do something, or because you're not big enough, or because you don't have enough money, or because you not, haven't got enough skills. Like, I never associate with those sorts of people. times there where I wake up in the morning and I go, it's cold, it's wet, I don't want to get out of bed, why am I bothered going to uh, go to the pool today? But at the end of the day, I, you know, I can think of a million reasons why I should stay in bed, but there's one reason why I just decide to get out of the pool, and that's because I want to swim for my country. And if you know the direction that you're actually wanting to move in, and if that's, if to swim for your country means you've got to wake up and go and train on these days, well then, it's part of the parcel, that's what you need to do. It's that real Aussie spirit that, that's really been built into us. I mean, that's the lifestyle that we've been brought up with. That's what our troops fought for our country and, and that's what, um, you know, is the most important thing in life. And that's the country you're swimming for as well. Exactly right. Yeah.
Halfway stage of the last 50, and Jeff Hugel is still in front. Dunford on his inside. There's 20 metres left to swim. What's 20 metres when you've conquered 40 kilos? Jeff Hugel of Australia. Jeff Hugel of Australia goes in for the kill. A happy ending for Jeff Hugel. Happily ever after it is. It's a Commonwealth Games record. Hugel's done it. Australia can celebrate. The men have got a medal and it's a 31-year-old who's done it.